In a world where two collector boxes collide, and there can be only one winner, you have the bottom of the barrel versus the extraordinary, the elusive, the wonderful modern horizons, too. And then you have the Dungeons and Dragons Forgotten Realms. Scottish Joe and Mouse, a bad boy, and G. And we're going to be getting up into this because you're with the mouse, mouse. And we are cracking the juiciest of the juice, baby. That's right. We are freaking opening a whole bunch of packs from Dungeons and Dragons. An entire collector box. And then we're also going to be opening an entire box from Modern Horizons to, I'll have you know. Collector boosters. This is going to be insane. If you're ever in the area, Ground Zero, which is right outside Cleveland, Ohio, in the suburbs in Strongsville, on Pearl Frickin' Road, Daddy-O, make sure you check them out. It is a really, really nifty place. All while I sit over here and just, just have some fun with these booster packs of cards. We're going to just have a little fun, guys. You see this? We're just making our... We're just making some stuff possible here. We're making it possible by doing this. Marcus makes things possible. That's who, that's who the real hero of this video is, is Marcus. He is the man. Uh, if you ever, again, if you're ever in the area, check him out, man. Really freaking cool place. He says that he gets people in there all the time um, that are just nutty fans of the channel. And I love hearing the stories. They walk in screaming and shit. <laughs> Skadoosh! <laughs> Um, and just, just fun, just fun times. We have fun. We have fun, hot dogs. Um, yeah, he, he loves it. He loves when people just come inside his store and just start screaming skadoosh. So if you guys are, uh, you know, up for that, that's cool. That is cool. Okay, here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Look at all that freaking glory. That is fun, man. Let's just throw a pack here for fun. Throw a pack over here. Throw a pack here. Okay. That's a freaking cool little thumb. What do you think? What do you guys think? What do you think of that thumb? Is that thummy? Is that thummy enough for you? Oh, that looks hot to trot, baby. Oh, that looks good. Ooh, I like that. Okay. All right, here we go. All better. All better. Let's do this. Okay, we got booster packs. What are you going to get up inside of here? I have no freaking idea. Maybe some cards, you know? All right. I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. That's a weird mix. You don't see... Modern Horizons 2, mixing that often with Dungeons and Dragons. Like, that's just kind of, like, wait, you got, you got the glory, and then you got the story, you know, uh, of how it could have been better. All right, you guys ready? Let's start get to cracking. Dungeons and Dragons first. Let's see if we can top the value from this set to that set. I already know all the price off the top of my head because we're that good. Ooh, these feel really nice, though. Oh, get a good whiff of that, boys. I smell good. Okay, Rogue Class shows up. Got the road class action. Dance, Macabre, Circle of Dreams. That's a good one. Circle of Dreams, Druid. The Moon Dancer and Treasure Vault. Oh, yes, the Treasure Vault. Not bad, not bad. We're going to put that up in uh, the same pile here. Bottom bang. Oh, Orb of Dragon uh, Kind. Not worth crap. Oh, the Tomb of Annihilation with the foilness. Those are hot, though. You get some foil hotness, man. You're looking good. Okay. We're going to do Modern Horizons. This is where the value's at. You want to see something? Let me show you a hat trick. Watch this. This is how you pull money, baby. This is how you freaking pull money. This is sick. Yavamaya, get off me. Look at that. We're already doing big things. Already doing freaking big things. Yavamaya, sudden edict. We, okay, this was not the best idea to crack like this. <laughs> sudden edict, persist. Um, I'm going to just make a pile of, uh, of rares. Okay, uh, Augur, this guy, and Fairy Seer, the old Fairy Seer, sure. Asmorangadang. Oh, wow. The value is not there with this one. That's not good. The value is not there with this one. Okay, this is going to drop over into the rare pile. Dang, that was not the not the best. We, we thought we could do better than that. Okay. I'm surprised. Oh, the Ice Death Frost Hung. Licky, licky. Okay. Let's get some value here. Show me the meaning of getting value. Swampy. I thought it would be interesting, though, to do it this way. Because I like to live uh, dangerously. Mind Flare. And it's not the other card. The other one's so much better. You know, you have to give the card back when it bounces. It's just stupid. I don't like it. I just, I just guys, I'm just not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. We'll put that over here. Uh, Re Revify. Revify. Okay. Tasha's Hit His Laughter. That's a good one. That's a nice pull. Okay. And we got Beholder with the beauty. Ooh, Taraski. Don't see him every single day. But Taraski came around. 
and the old Jin Winsier. I do like the pop on these. I still think that's really cool how they did it. Oh, wow. And Wild Mage. She's good. So that was a nice little pack there. That was hot to try. I'm Wolfie. Okay. Back to MH2. Is this weird? Has anyone done this before? Am I just a magician? I don't know. All right. See what else we get. Mistress Factory, the planes. Yeah. Okay. This is for all the money, dude. This is for all the freaking money. This is for all the big dollars. Apprentice. Okay. Apprentice. One of these. Harmonic Prodigy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think we need to make an uncommon pile right next to it. Here, we're going to put this over here. This is going to help me speed through it. Prodigy. Hermits. Ooh, tally me bananas. That looks good, right? Okay, making sure the camera's nice. Lava Belly Stinker. Upheaval. Ooh, okay. A giver of Ruins. It's still, that the, the, the frames in these are just magnificent. They really did a fantastic job with those framings. This is a weak box right now, though. This is very weak. I'm getting a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. We're getting a little nervous here. Back to dungeons, dude. Back to dungeons, dude. Can the dungeon... Ooh, I see something. Oh, it's something. We got something here, guys. The planes, the class. Okay. That's nice and shiny. Very beautiful. Song of Inspiration. We need something big. Meteor Swarm. We are not hitting big. Is Song of Inspiration? Probably not. All right. Manticore, dude. Uh, we can throw you here. Manticore. Troll, come on, cube, iron golem. Uh oh, this is not looking good. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Damn, Dungeons and Dragons outshining Modern Horizons right now. Get off them. <laughs> Woo, doggy. There it freaking is, outshining. I didn't think that was possible. Oh man, that is too cool. That is too cool for school. Way to go. Way to freaking go, D and D. We didn't we didn't think you had it in you, D and D. We thought you were just gonna lose out big time here. Nice freaking pull, monster. Pulls the monster. All right, Modern Horizons. Can you beat that Guild Kingpin, which has dropped in price surprisingly quite a bit? I think has it. Let me take a look here. Quite a bit, yeah, really has. Um, that one's probably what twenty. 22 bucks only. Unbelievable. Still, that was a sweet hit. All right, let's get up into Horizons. See what kind of nasty stuff we could pull here. Got the planes. Glimpse of Tomorrow. Okay, that's cool and all. Jade Avenger. Go on, go on. Ah, Sylvan Anthem. Where's the fetches? Where are the fetches? Where's the fetches? World Wearer. Okay, Sink. King of the Pride. Not going to do it. Bam! Prasmatic Vista. All right, now we got ourselves a little battle here. Some value for some value. Very cool prismatic vista etched foil, which search the premises. If you guys haven't seen the video yet, you got to go back and check it out. It's absolutely freaking ridiculous. Um, the amount of uh, the amount of value I pulled um, for patrons out of a box, out of a sealed case. I'm just so excited right now. Sorry, I can't even talk today. Um, yeah, I seriously cannot talk today. I remember I used to say that a lot um, during videos way back in the day when uh, I was I was not doing so good. Uh, the real Archduke um, 01 Avarice, but I assure you I'm doing freaking fine and dandy. Damn. Um, I'm still sad, man, with Dungeons and Dragons not being that great. Uh, I think it could have been a lot freaking better. Uh, this set. Uh, am I the, again? Am I the only one thinking that way? Is this set just seem like very underwhelming? I, it's a core set, Joey. It's supposed to be. No, I mean whatever. That's cool. Long rest. I mean, the artwork's cool. No one's arguing that. The artwork is really freaking cool. But I just think that it's just an underwhelming set. You know, it kind of makes me sad in pants. Let's open some Modern Horizons so I feel better again. Here we go. All right, Modern, I've got to open the Modern Horizons. Where's the money? Where's the... Ah, oh, yeah, get the Marsh Flats. Get off me, dog. Nice Marsh Flats pool. Oh, yeah, I already know it. We got that nut. We got that Shatter Splitter Spatter. Look at that. Oh, it's Endurance, even better. Nice pool. All right, we got Endurance. Hell yeah. With Curiosity, Smilly. Oh, Deep Fost Herps. Deep Fost Herps. Uh-oh. Boom! Foil Sword of Hearth and Home. Gorgeous. See, like it's just like such a such a swing on the pendulum from one side to the other of like value. 
on the left of the pendulum with Modern Horizons, you have just huge value. And on the right, you have Dungeons and Dragons. I get it. One's based for Modern. One's like more premium. One's almost twice as expensive. But you'd still like to see... I don't know. I guess over time. Maybe I'm really hating on Dungeons and Dragons too much. Like, look at that art, man. Like, that is sick. They did a really freaking nasty job on this set. Uh, as far as art-wise goes. All right, I think we got something good here. Maybe I can shut up already. Pull something good. Ranger Boy. Phantom Cedar Dealer. All right, Phantom Cedar Dealer. Demi Lich. That's not bad. This card's been dropping in price. If it hits around 8 bucks, buy the crap out of it. Because it's going to jump up. Those are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts. TCG player. Use the affiliate link in the description. Just saying. That's the way to do it. Black Dragon. Still love these arts. Uh, the art on the, the dragons for sure. That's really freaking cool. Uh, Cave of Frost Dragon. What else? This dude. Cave of, Cave of Frost is not bad. Oh, Ellie! Oh, that's not even Frost. Yeah, that's Frost. Eliwick, Tumblestrom. I feel like Planeswalkers are just not as powerful as they used to be. Am I crazy for saying that? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think I am. That's another plan. We got Planeswalkers coming out of balls right now. I don't know, guys. It's, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I just feel like the times of Lily, when she was so powerful and silly, you know? Like, it, it was just completely different. So Talisman. Tally me bananas. Let's pull some more value. Kitchen Imp. Mm-hmm. I think, honestly, what's throwing me off right now is I can't really focus on any commentary or nothing. There's The piles are just crazy and messing with my head right now. <laughs> that usually happens. Undead Augur. Ardeth after Paradise, dude. Giver of Ruins again. Ah, oh, good, good hit. Verdant freaking catacombs, baby. Now we're cooking Heaven's Bakery. Now we're cooking Heaven's Bakery. That is a juicy freaking pool. Very, very nicely done. Don't ask why the piles are like that. All right, now we're going back to Dungeons and Dragons. Is this a weird opening? You gotta feel a little weird. What's the weirdest way you open packs before? This is the weirdest way. Bouncing between these two sets. Oh, Tasha's hideous laughter. Value train, baby. Price has dropped, but that's all right. This is still going to be like a freaking staple in Mildex for years to come. Without a freaking doubt, man. Without a doubt. Midnight. Uh, Prince Dude of Undeath. Whispered Green Dragon. Very cool. Oh, another Ellie. Another Ellie. Okay. I guess I, I, I've been a little hard. I've been a little hard on this set, I think. You guys think? You think I've been a little hard? I've been a little hard on the set. I think I have. Let's put that in the Planeswalker pile. Pegasus, Sphere of Annihilation. Still a sweet card. That's like Damnation coming down. Okay. Lost Mind to go out. Um, Very, very cool. And the Pegasi. All right. God, I got to open more Battle Horizons. Okay. Let's do this. Boom, 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 boom. See, I'm fine right here. And then we get to this, and it's all, like, scattered. Okay. We got Karth, the Lion Dude, the Lion King. Thought Monitor. Sure. We're just putting the rare pile. Uh, this guy, that guy, come on. Be something freaking juiced. Out of time. We got the out of time. Okay, nothing too nutty. Put those cards in a pile. And Calibrated Blast. Wow, hitting some freaking duds right now. This is like a dud box. That's kind of surprising. I would have thought better of this. Okay, back to Adventures. Maybe not dud. We did pull the Catacombs, right? We pulled Verdant. We got some big hits. I'll have to go over it after the video. We got some big hits. Mountain. Ooh, the Taraski. This thing's probably going to hit like 50 cents at some point. It might. Okay, Taraski. Down you go. Fiend Lash. Long Rest. Come on. I think that, that right now, the Forgotten Realms have been looking pretty good. Blink Dog. Okay. Hall of Storm. Come on, be something juice. Ooh, Hand of uh, Vecna. Visna, Vakna. Vak, you know, you. Okay, there we go. The hand of Vecna, whatever. Is it Vecna? Visna. Vanis Navida, Desper, Manis Nara. I don't know. All right, Horizons 2. Horizons 2. Come on, baby. Shunk, 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 shunk. Need something good. Nettle Cyst. Let's pull it. Let's get it right now. Let's get the freaking monkey. Call it a day. Monkey boy, where you hiding at, fella? Where you hiding at? Shrink. All this, I've got to sort through afterwards, guys, so don't worry. The piles are all going to be uh, me to deal with. Jade Avenger. Defile. Gah, mind collapse. Ah! 
Ah, Richard and Brock. Oh, no. Oh, man. Another dud pack. That means I think we have a monster hit coming up. I think we have a mo I'm predicting right now we're going to pull to some freaking crazy fire out of the Modern Horizons. I, don't, I think we're going to coast with uh, Forgotten Realms. We might pull like a, um, a, an old gnaw bone. You know, a nice old gnaw bone I think is coming our way. I think so. There's Lair of the Hydra. Great green uh, uh, land card for dang sure. We got the Indomitable one. Okay, hand again. Some of this. The Mimic. The white. Okay, so that is so cool. Who played that game? I played that game. That too. Okay, very cool. And Hoblin Goblin. Okay. All right. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Back over to Horizons. Give us some juice for once, please. Give us that freaking... Na oh, it's coming. I smell it. I smell it. Oh, there it is. Arid Mesa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Gotta love these. Gotta love them. Arid Mesa showing up. That goes in the cool pile. We need more. We need to do the cool pile again. Dak and Shadow Slayer. Can't believe it's like a buck fifty. Is this a card we're all sleeping on? Buck fifty, man. Buck fifty. Is he worth a buck fifty in your mind, in your opinion? Is he worth a buck fifty? I don't know. I don't know. He might not be. Well, we really screwed up these piles. Okay, Dakin. <laughs> See through. <laughs> I used to think these were like error cards, but they're not. I used to think those were error cards, they're just not. See through Brainstone, the Underworld Cookbook. Bo Ooh yeah! Misty Rainforest Etch. That's a big hit. Very, very nice. I I, I cannot get enough of Modern Horizons 2. Watch this. Oh, Torak, Dread Cantor in the back. One of my favorite cards from the whole set. But that Misty, that just trumps it. Unbelievable. Very, very cool opening. Very, very okay. Now we're now we're now we're we're backing up a little bit from all the shit talk. All right. We've backed up a little bit. We're starting to put things back into focus. Let's get that knob owner. Where's it at? I know it's hiding here somewhere. Delina, Wild Mage. There you go. Oh, Wild. You got the Wild? Yep. Um, we need to go over here. You go. No, you go over here. Uh, wild, Treasure Chest. Mm, this, that. Drizzit. Not a bad card. Drizzit's not bad. Drizzit's not bad. Manticore. Okay. And the QB. That's it. Okay. See, like, it just seems disappointing when you open up the Dungeons and Dragons and you don't get... Like, anything but if you open up a horizons pack and you don't get a whole lot of freaking huge hits it's like i didn't do too bad you know like damn right damn but again modern horizons boxes collector boxes are gonna be like 500 bucks in two years easy so get them while you can guys up oh, we got subtlety coming up we got a subtlety baby here it comes oosh beautiful beautiful artwork on the subtlety it really is very nice very nice. that goes in a cool pile the piles mean nothing. Uh, Gargadon, Shambler, Necrogoyf. Disappointed with how powerful this card is. I think they could have done something to make it a little more juicy, but they just didn't. Oh! Money in the bank. Verdant Catacombs. Retro Foil. Freaking beautiful, man. Absolutely beautiful. Necrogoyf. <laughs> Nobody cares about you, bro. All right, we need knob owner or go homer. That's what we're doing here. And speaking of XRP, who saw Bart Simpson write 589 on the chalkboard? XRP. Moving along. All right, what else we got? Come on. Yeah, we got to get that knob on. Den of the Bugbear. Ooh, you're fun, though. That thing just looks like something you don't want to mess with. Like, he looks pretty freaking brutal. All right. This guy, the Wish, Pixie, Zalto, mm -hmm. and this Owlbear. Dang, might, many of the Mighty's not bad. Okay. I guess I just should never open up a box of Dungeons and Dragons again. Because I'm that disappointed with the set. I think, I, I'm not, not the art, but the value. I think the value is just terrible. The power, I mean, the dragons are really good. Maybe the dragons are just going to be like... They're all going to be 50 to like 100 bucks, you know, in like two months or in like two years. You know, when the set rotates out, three years, whatever. Maybe that's how, maybe that's like the intentions of Watsi. So then that, you know, it's ex extremely sought after set. Maybe, maybe that's how it goes. Late to dinner with some powder all over it. That's a lot of crap on it. Uh, Vindicate. Maybe that's how it's going to go, guys. Maybe that's how it's going to go. I don't know. Marble. 
Tide Shaper. Ah, Imperial Recruiter Etch. Very nice. That's a nice little hit. That one looks good. I like it. Timeless Dragon. Could have done without you, though, sweetheart. Okay. Very, very cool, though. Um, definitely pulling fire. Need a gnaw bone or my entire life is going to be erased. Um, we get a gnaw bone or we bust. That's it. Oh, did we do it? We got the Duke. Did we do it? Death Tyrant. That's a cool card, too, though. Very nice art. Don't see that one all the time. Flame Skull. Oh, no. Now we wanted. Now we wanted. Okay, Pixie, Dire. Oh, we got Lair of the Hydra. I should have known better. Okay, Lair of Hydra. Cool card, though. Vorpal Sword. That's another card that's not bad, though. Fun little, like, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh kind of card where you just win, you know? Straight out win the game with our Vorpal Sword there. Okay. And uh, there you have it. Just has to get damage in, right? It's nuts. Until end of turn, Vorpal Sword gains whenever equipped creature deals combat damage to a player. That's insanity, man. That's, like, too strong. I know it's a lot to equip, and there's a lot of ways to deal with a creature. But holy crap, you know? That's just, it's just too... I don't know, man. I think that's just too power. It, is it too powerful? I guess if you're at that much mana, then the game is going to be decided either way, you know? If you're able to play that much. You know, maybe that's what it is. All right, we got the dock hand again. Uh, Harvest. Grief. Very cool hit. Very cool hit, without a doubt. Good old Grief. Put that in the cool pile. Brainstone. The Sheryls. The Extruder. Chatter Fang. Squirrel General. And you can barely make that out because I used a white background in this video. I got to start using dark backgrounds. Otherwise, the videos look like shit. Chatterfang Squirrel and Priest of Felrites. Okay. I'll put you over here. All right. My socks stink. Just, just thought you guys want to know. All right. Come on. We need to bring it on home. Old Gnawbone. Let's go. A Tiamat will not do. It has to be a Gnawbone. Ooh, Nadar. That's cool. Fun card to use in draft. Okay. Min Willy. <laughs> Min Wiley. I like that art. That's some pretty cool art. I like the artwork on that one. Okay. Sphere of Annihilation. Chosen. Ooh, lurking. Ice, death, frost, tyrant. Not what we wanted. <laughs> oh, we got something that's... I don't know. No way. Nope. It's not that. It's not a Tiamat either. What is that? Frog Hemeth. You little freaking teaser. All right. Not that impressive with that one. Dang it. All right, that's okay. Last pack to crack in this silly, silly... That pack opened really weird. Last pack to open in this silly pack opening. Just mixing things together, having some fun with the dark moss boss. Mouse, mouse. All right, mountain, out of time. Flame tongue. Yearling. Oh, our kind of cruelty. Fingers crossed, baby. Get some juice. Get some juice. Salvaging. Salvaging. Steep throw. Goblin. Chain Nightmare. Ah, oh, not what we wanted. This, this box, overall, I'd give it... It was an average. It was the average Modern Horizons 2 uh, box opening. I will say that. This goes over here, whatever. You, you're going to go over here for no reason whatsoever. You too. And there you go. Um, yeah, check out Ground Zero if you're ever in the area, guys. Freaking sick, sick place. And if you haven't seen the video where we pulled this nasty misprint, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You got to go back a few videos. Really freaking cool, though. Not going to be a spoiler alert. Best card in the game, right here. EW. Get off him. Appreciate you. Leave a like. Um, check out the other content. Become a patron if you want. If you're as uh, ADHD and obnoxious as I am, this video was really annoying, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Let me know your thoughts. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Joy Boss, Pet Boy MTG, Scottish.